Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. So we have another ridiculous experiment for you guys, and that is testing too many atmospheric thrusters. All right, so today we're gonna test: is there too many, or such thing as too many atmospheric thrusters? Yeah, just atmospheric thrusters. They want to mess around with the other thrusters just yet, but today we want to see if there is such thing as too many of them as we've done with too many wheels and too many turrets and things like that but it's going to be a quick simple experiment here we're just going to see how many thrusters can we tack on and actually also see and test if we can get out of the atmosphere and actually get into orbit or past the orbit or out of the gravity well with just atmospheric thrusters um i doubt you could because the stock space engineers high speed is 100 or so meters per second so it's not a significant amount of speed to really get you out there but we're going to test it out just in case for the fun of it and we're going to go large a larger scale from here on out after this all right so this crazy looking thing it's mostly upward thrusters as you see here some forward and backwards and side thrusters not a significant amount to really do anything but the upper thruster is what we're counting on. This thing itself has about 200 batteries and roughly about 1,206 upward thrusters, roughly. And of course, we have 12 gyroscope just to keep it straight if we could. Unfortunately, the whole thing is too big anyways to really do too much. But let's test it out. So is this too much? Not necessarily. Game's not lagging, so everything seems fine for the most part. Is it viable? Probably not. I don't think you would ever put that many thrusters on a ship. You probably do large thrusters and things like that alongside of it, not just all small ones like I just did here. But let's see if we can get out of the atmosphere, out of the gravity well, with just atmosphere thrusters with a thousand plus of them. Then three, two, one, lift off. We gain speed really fast, and we don't even get 100 meters per second, to be honest. Um, this build also requires that your that you have enough batteries for your upward thrust or all your thrusters. Otherwise, you're just using minimal thrusters, to be honest. So we're gonna see if we can get out of here right into the gravity well. We picked up 100 meters per second or close to 100 meters per second in no time flat, basically. Um, so that's a good sign, but I believe it's gonna cut off way, way before we even get close to escaping the gravity well but is it is it going to have enough momentum to push us past it so that's what we're kind of testing out here i think i've done this on a smaller size grid before or a smaller version of it before with the normal ship and i don't think you get out of the atmosphere with just atmosphere thrusters but tacking on a thousand or so i i, I don't think it's gonna do too much because this thing does weigh a lot as well so we're just gonna have to see how that's gonna work out all right so we are about seven getting to eight thousand meters or kilometers or eight kilometers so it looks like we actually went past a big portion of it oh our thrusters just cut off yep we have no power for thrusters that's gone we're past the atmosphere and we are dropping a significant amount of speed so i don't think we will make it pass or even get close to passing the atmosphere or the gravity well and it sounds like yeah we're, we're just dropping now <laughs> it looks like the thrusters are on but we are just dipping down really really fast now so i don't know when the thrust is going to come back on but it looks like it's starting to come back on now as you see the speed dropping a bit so, it looks like right around here is the dead weight or the dead atmosphere. So it looks like around 8 kilometers or 8,000 meters is kind of the dead space where the atmosphere thrusters won't work anymore. But what's interesting is that we are nowhere close to getting out of the atmosphere or the gravity well. So that is quite something. Alright, so... There you go. So we, even with a thousand two hundred or so thrusters, won't get you past the atmosphere, which obviously makes a lot of sense. 
because you know there's a cutoff to when it's gonna go. But I just want to see if the momentum will bring us up there. Guess not. It's it's nowhere close to getting out the gravity well from what I can see. And looks like I'm just gonna free falling, 104 meters per second. And I don't know if you saw it, it's kind of glitching out where you see some batteries melding or, or warping a little bit. It's just glitching out a little bit there, here and there. As you see there in the front, now in the back, it's just going crazy because it's just way too much stuff on this thing. So I'm actually going to drop this guy as as much as possible with my dampeners off. And try to activate the thrusters roughly around 100 or maybe, no, do I want to try 200 meters? See if I can catch myself before it hits the ground and explode. Uh, the only problem with that is that I think the back end is, yeah, the back end is a little bit on the slanty side. So I'm going to have to do it a lot sooner than I think. Alright, so we're coming close to the to the base or the, the ground. So we're going to hit Z once we hit close to 200. Or maybe even a little after 200. I'm a little worried here. It's not going to be able to pull it up, but let's just see what happens. And now, is it going to save? Oh, wow. It actually saved it. It stopped it just like a parachute would in some senses, but even better. But obviously, yeah, because there's so much thrust that it stopped it. We, we started, hit dampeners on a little after 200 meters. I couldn't really, I, I tried to press as quickly as possible, but I think it was around 180 or so because the number was going so fast. And it stopped at 99. So that stopped close to 100 meters in terms of falling. So that is very interesting where, I mean, if you want to replace your parachute, I guess this is the way to do it, which is totally ridiculous. So to go even crazier than that, I decided to break out the monstrosity of small grid thrusters. And that is going to be this guy right here. I didn't name it. But it's small grid 9039 underscore 3. And when I click on this and, and copy it to the clipboard, it can take some time to load. So let's do that in 3, 2, 1. All right. So it just generated. Didn't take too long as I thought it would. And you see the kind of blueprint of it. Whole bunch of atmosphere thrusters going upwards and a whole bunch of batteries stacked on top. Reason being is to power all these individual thrusters, basically. All right, so I'm going to load it up. And it's going to lag up my machine a bit. Because this thing <laughs> is ginormous. So I don't know if you see it right there, but the total blocks is um, about 16,000. So as you can imagine, the thrusters, I think we have about 12,000 thrusters, roughly. And the batteries, we have a significant amount as well. I uh, didn't really keep count, but as you see here, the performance is slightly lagging here and there. And I noticed that it started lagging like this for, at least for my machine, roughly around 8,000 thrusters. <laughs> so that is an interesting aspect to small grid thrusters or kind of answering the too many thrusters. But once again, the too many thrusters kind of go with what machine you have, what hardware you have, um, in terms of it dropping in performance. So I'm going to find my way to slowly try to get into my seat here. And once I get there, I'm going to try and lift off from here. Is it laggy in here as well? It's a little bit better in here, but and I got a little bit of a window, so it's an interesting little view here. It is quite bad in terms of performance it's actually getting a little bit better now but roughly around 12,000 thrusters is what we have housed right this moment it's a laggy machine but we're going to test to see if the, all this weight propelled upwards would it make a difference i highly doubt it would it, it probably would be the exact same thing <laughs> in terms of a sign or in terms of physics i guess but, you know, just going to try it out anyways. But 12,000 thrusters is too many for at least me. So there is a way of saying that there is too many. If you have a better machine than I do, I'm pretty sure you can tack in a little bit more. But probably going to lag out a bit too. 
And I did play around with it earlier, where I just dropped on the ground and it clanged out and sank on the ground itself. So that was kind of interesting too. All right, so this is quite, quite laggy. <laughs> the smoke effect doesn't help. Um, that's coming from the thruster itself. So that's going to be a bit interesting. Let me see if I can do first person view. Oh, I got out of it instead. So I wanted to do first person view. Is it still laggy? Y yes, it is. Okay, so that doesn't really help too, too much. And I haven't even gotten that far out yet. Okay. So once again, we're going to fly up past the atmosphere. It's a very slow crawl because it's quite, quite laggy here. And it's not really ideal, but it seems to be working okay. Would I fly a ship with uh, 12,000 thrusters, small thrusters? Absolutely not. It's going to be the laggiest thing in the world. So that's not going to really work out. And it's a, it's a lot of weight. If you see in the bottom left or the bottom right, you see how much it's weighing right there. And that's just insane. And this thing is only thrusters and batteries for the most part. Okay, so this unfortunately... Although it's the same speed as the smaller one, it's going to take significant time going up because of the lag. Um, the little glitching of batteries floating around is still happening. So that's an interesting piece to it. I think some of the thrusters are going a little crazy too. But yeah, this is going to take some time. And look at the effect here with all the thrusters on the bottom. That is just crazy looking. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> you would think with all these thrusters, you know, you probably would go way past the meters per second top speed. But unfortunately, the game has a top speed, so you can't go past it. Of course, you use a mod, a speed mod, and just remove the speed limit or cap it a lot higher. Then you could probably zoom past, you know, into different planets in like no time. Alright, so with this lag, it took quite, quite some time, and we are just at about 7,000 meters, or close to 8,000 meters. So, nothing's dropping just yet, but it's probably going to drop soon, once it hits about 8,000, or 8.5, or 8,500, or 8,500. So let's just see what happens. Okay, so we got a view inside, so we have to see all the craziness. It's still quite laggy in here, so... Not doing, <laughs> doesn't do its justice. But we are 8,400. Nothing's cut off just yet. So I guess we're still gonna have to sit and wait. Alright, here we go. 8,500 or 8,500 is the cutoff. As you see, the meters per second is starting to drop. And the weight of this thing will give the momentum to go forward and past the gravity well was kind of the initial question. I highly doubt it. But let's see how far we can get. The smaller one got us a little bit over 9,000 meters, I believe. So if it goes more than that, or close to 10, I don't think it hit 10 before, then we know that there's a bit of a difference there, or a bit of a possibility, depending on how many thrusters you can actually slap on a, a ship here. But based on the significant dropping of the, of the speed and the climbing, yeah, I don't think we're going to hit the 10 meters per second. What are your takes there? Oh, we are dropping even more now. And we are about to stop soon. So yeah, it's the same exact thing. No difference in terms of how many thrusters you have and the size of the ship. It's still going to act the same way. So about 9,500 meters was kind of the cutoff there. And now we're just going to drop back down to Earth. So, instead of testing out the same thing I did before and dropping down to the planet and trying to stop it as close to the ground as possible, that's going to take me another probably 10-20 minutes, so I'm going to skip that and pretty much close it from there. Alright, so this monstrosity is going to have to go away because it is lagging significantly on my machine. 
and it does take a while to actually go away as you can see here and I'm finally lag free <laughs> so that is an insane insane amount of lag with so many thrusters um, so definitely too many somewhat not really it's not as bad as turrets to be honest as we can slap on 12,000 thrusters and still kind of be okay for the most part or even at around 8,000 that's when I saw some significant performance issues with my machine and just to give you a bit of a insight what I'm running is basically an i7 8700k CPU I have a 1080 NVIDIA GPU I have 32 gigs of RAM so that should be a pretty decent machine it's not the most updated machine of course but should be more than enough to run a whole bunch of thrusters and everything that especially for space engineers um, sooner or later I'll update it probably a 3080 or so if I can get my hands on one and hopefully we can do some more testings of of too many of this and that to be honest all right, so we made it safety down back on the ice lake here. And of course, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Please hit that thumbs up, like the video. If you have not done so yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, drop a comment down below. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.